General Boykin, thank you for uh, joining me today. Thank Here you. at the Values Voter Summit, it, there was a lot of there's a lot of crucial issues that are happening in America, and I just just heard you and Clara Lopez talk about some national security issues, concern what's happening uh, internationally with Russia and China being more aggressive and uh, Islamic issues. So, uh, what, what would, how would you uh, summarize your general concerns about what hap what is happening with our security concerns uh, with Russia and China right now? Well, I think uh, Claire Lopez uh, and Colonel Retired, Lieutenant Colonel Retired Bob McGinnis explained it fairly well today. And that is that since 9-11, we've been focused really on almost a single threat, and that's the threat of radical Islam. Mm -hmm. Both the Chinese and the Russians have exploited that lack of attention. And uh, I think now what we're seeing is that uh, we're, we're catching up with the reality of the fact that they have, they are in fact an existential threats and, and we have to deal with it. Okay. <laughs> There's, there's another concern about, uh, you know, how the media is, uh, a lot of people are concerned of lying about what is really going on. And, uh, no, you don't really think the media would lie. It's amazing, uh, General I'm Boykin. Just, I'm shocked. Yeah. Well, you know, that, that's a concern for a lot of Christian leaders, uh, not only in America, but worldwide. The role of the Christian media is very crucial, and the Israel Prime Minister held a Christian media summit last October, uh, honoring the Christian media. So I, I'm I'm curious about how President Trump might respond to the role of the Christian media at the White House. And what do you see as the role of the Christian media now in light of all the fake news discussions? Well, I'm going to answer this in a way that might, might surprise you a little bit, but all media that says they are Christian are not Christian. I Certainly understand. not by my, by my definition of Christian. Okay. Because some of them, uh, and, and some of the leaders of organizations, like remember Barack Obama had Jim Wallace, who was a hardcore Marxist, uh -huh. as sort of his spiritual advisor there. So uh, all Christian media is not really what I would consider to be Christian, at least in terms of, you know. But that said, I think that you can expect a higher level of integrity in the Christian media than you do in the mainstream media. Okay. And that's because our, our foundations are Christian and we have a, a, an obligation under our beliefs and our doctrine and our theology that we are supposed to tell the truth. Um, and the fake news today is just out of control. And, it, and, and both, both sides can't be right. Right. You know, one side's got to be wrong in, in what's happening in America. But I think that Christian media is becoming more and more popular. You look, for example, at uh, CBN. Mm -hmm. they, are, they're, they are growing in terms of viewership and credibility. Uh, and, and I think that uh, that's very important. And then you look at God TV and Daystar and all of those organizations that have news programs. They're far more reliable in terms of accuracy than, than the mainstream media. Well, I just had an interview recently with Dinesh D'Souza. I know President Trump recently pardoned him, the concern. So, um, have you, are you aware of the Death of a Nation uh, movie that just was circulating? I haven't seen it, but I'm aware of it. His concerns about what's really going on. We talked about the fake news issue. And he, he went further with what I had said that uh, fake news don't support our Judeo-Christian values. He went to the point of saying they really aren't Christian. Uh, the media sources are really anti our values, anti God as well. Well, I wouldn't call them Christian either. I mean, those, those that get up and on a routine basis, they lie. Mm -hmm. It's one thing to make an occasional mistake or miscalculation. Okay. But it is entirely something else as, as what you see in the mainstream media today. They've targeted Donald Trump and they will say anything they have to say to discredit him and his administration and to stir up the base, the, the leftist base. And that isn't Christian. There's nothing Christian about that. You know, it's a very serious concern. So uh, I am here with uh, General Boykin here today at the Values Voter Summit. A lot of serious concerns and, and there's a major a push to get out the vote and thank you General Boykin for joining me. Good being with you.